M0FXB. Right, well, we're on FT8 at the moment, as you can see. Uh, but one thing we haven't done yet is got the 705 on FT8. So I'm going to uh, set that out for you now. It's only a few settings apparently because it runs pretty similar to the 7300 and we've done that. So I'll be showing you the settings and uh, getting us up and running on FT8. What you're going to do, get on your PC, go to the ICOM site and download the USB driver for the ICOM 705. Now on the 7300 we've been told that it's to copy the settings so you go menu there's only two settings that I think matter one is um, the data mod up here should be on USB and then go down to CIV settings um, and get that onto on the 705 change it to same as the 7300 here to 94H then go back then all you have to do is get your raid get the 705 into data mode and i'll show you how to do that on the other one but basically you select um you, the mode tap until it says usb once you've got it on usb then tap data and you'll get it into this mode so this is on the 7300 so if you haven't ever done it on a 7300 uh try that so moving over to the 705 Try and get away from the glare of the PC. We're just going to do what we just did. So, menu, set, connectors. We're going to change let's go back. To data mod so this one here needs to say data mod so just to show you how we got into that we went to let's go back again connectors mod input we went down data mod selected USB go back then go connectors yeah connectors go down to CIV and see this A4H, change it to 94H. Sorry, 94H, I think I got that wrong. 94H. Okay, so that's us that's the settings done. Right, go into your device manager. And what we'll do is we'll connect the 705 because we have installed you always install the driver first, restart the computer to be on the safe side. When we connect the 705, um, we'll see this change. So the uh, USB cable or mini USB is now plugged into the side of our 705 and into our PC. And this has appeared, as you can see. So look for this in your device manager. Okay, now go to WSJT-X and have a look and download the program you need for FT8. On the 705, we'll get it into USB data mode. So we'll select the L. Select. We've got USB. Hit it back again and just hit data. Now we're in data mode. Our antenna connected to our G5RV. We've um, set the settings in WSJTX to the COM that was in my device manager, or COM port. We set the board rate to 9600. We've okayed that and straight away we've connected. And we can see that by just going into the select a different frequency here, join cables here. Um, so if we select, let's back off so you can see, so if we select 40 meters here, that's one sec, here, go to 40 and you'll see it change on the radio. So that's just changed. So we know we're connected. Now just regarding the configuration of the, of the audio setting, 
you need to go file settings and then in the audio section you need to select audio codec on both now if it doesn't find it you there's something not configured right in your computer but anyway mine's found it straight away so let's click OK. Now we should now be ready to transmit. So what we're going to do, we're going to go here and we're going to enable the TX. Sorry about the glare. And we're going to see, see that the um, 705 has gone into transmit. I just, at the moment I've got it on SWR. I just want to see what the SWR is like. So as this green bar gets to the end, it automatically will make the 705 transmit. As you can see, the SWR looks fine. So what we're gonna do is check the ALK. So see the ALK is quite high there. Whilst we're in transmit, we want that right down low. So the way I do that is see this slider here. I move that down until the ALK is lower. So we can do that in the tune. So if we go HALT TX, click tune, and then move the slider down. We should see, I'm moving it down, we should see our ALK reduce there. Now you only really want one bar to show, you know, one little blue bar. So we're gonna move that so there's only one. It's quite tricky to do. So what I do, I tend to click it. Um, and then I just see these up down arrows. I tend to just, once I've clicked it, I can just tap. See it going down? Right. We just want one. So I'll, I'll hold the TX at the moment. Well, I was meant to hold the TX. So anyway, so what I then tend to do is try and find a gap in all this. And then I'll I'll right click and select TX receive in a gap between all these lines. Just trying to work out why all the lines have stopped. Probably when I was in transmit. Not the frequency off, that's why the line stopped. So you see all the lines coming down now. I'll find a dark gap. So that where there's no, not too much activity, and I will right click and click set. This is how I do it. I'm not saying it's the best way to do it, but it's how I do it. So we're gonna go into automatic transmit now, and we're gonna see if we get any contacts. Right, I've put the uh, power supply on so I can get the full 10 watts out of it. And I'm gonna enable the TX. I just still got it on SWR at the moment, just to uh, make sure that the SWR is okay when it goes into transmit. So go on then, transmit. Yeah, we're in transmit, SWR is fine. We're doing 10 watts, we'll put it back to ALK. Now the ALK looks a bit low, so I need to just increase that now. All right, wait for the next transmit cycle. Actually, I'll do it in the tune. So what you do is you hold the TX Hit tune, it's now tuning. Oh, the outlook's okay now, the ALK or the ALC. So uh, if anything, we can lower it a tad. Um, just so it's just one. That's it. Okay, we're gonna go into enable TX. Let's see if we can actually get some uh, contacts on FT8 using the 705. Sorry about the bad quality video, but it's all fun. Just watch it as it goes. It's just cycling through. It's transmitting now. As you can see. Let it do another cycle. Right, we're in transmit. See the... Um, there, so it's definitely going out. 
So we'll give that a few minutes on 10 watts on the G5RV. Luckily the tuner's doing its job. I'd already tuned it on the 7300 so um, it shouldn't have needed tuning anyway. So I'm gonna wait a while and if I get a contact I'll put it back on but otherwise this is how I did uh, my WSJTX FT8 setup with my 7500. 73 please subscribe yep so we've we've had a contact here look um from on 7 de oh, 10 watts not a bad strength i think minus two you get this confirmation come up with with it as well what we'll do we'll fire up a uh, a program that tells me where are my signals getting out. So look, now it's gone into auto transmit. It's cycling through these automatic messages. Go back and forth until it says, oh, it says it there, Roger, Roger, 73. So let's just wait for the next contact. Right, as you can see, it's still cycling through. So I fired up the program I got called Grid Tracker. Which, I mean, it does loads, but, and it's, you have to set it up with a couple of settings, but which links to your program, FT8. But look, see all this here? These are all the stations that are coming up. You can zoom in, zoom out. You even get some live information where one station is talking to another station. And you can hover over, get their details. There you go, 2E0RLT. Right, so we've got... MM5, there's quite a lot of activity talking to this station here. He's right up north. We've got some stations here, Netherlands. So, quite a cool program, and um, I do like using it. So, looks like we're starting to get lots of contacts here on FT8. So, at the end of it, you get the confirmation and then I have to hit enable TX for the next contact. So yeah, the uh, ICOM 705 is working well on FT8. We'll let it record for a couple of minutes as it does it. And then, uh, and then we will end the video. easier to select meter in the menu and then you you know you can see all every all the information you need SWR and ALC um, you know straight away all in one go